friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play Jet Airliner as recorded by the Steve Miller Band on guitar. Now this song has four main sections to it. We're gonna kick it off with that opening lead part that's just a pentatonic kind of bluesy riff, and then we're gonna go through breaking down the chords and progressions through the rest of the tune. But real quick, if you're new to the channel, I wanna hook you up with something right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And when it comes to playing licks, like at the top of this Steve Miller band tune, you wanna be familiar with what I call your pentatonic scales, and you wanna know how those scales connect to what we call the key and the chords of the key. So I'm gonna show you how to do that on this free page you can download. It's just one page. You can grab it at johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide to help you out even more with this. Again, it's completely free, so just go to that site or click the first link down below. Hope you enjoy that. And with that said, let's break it down. All right, so as I mentioned, we're gonna kick it off with this riff, which sounds like this. All right, so I am using a capo here on the third fret, and that's gonna put you in the original key from that recorded version. Now there are some live versions of this where they actually have lowered the key. A lot of times this happens with artists, you know, as they get older, they lower the keys down a little bit, and so what they actually did on the live versions that I've seen is they played it a whole step down in B flat, and what they did was instead of capoing, they tuned the guitars up a half step and then just played it in A. So I'm playing this in the key of A, I'm thinking A, but it's really the key of C concert pitch because I've got that capo on the third fret. So put your capo on the third fret, and then I'm gonna be saying these frets from the capo. So we're gonna go up to the 10th fret on the second string. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, and we're gonna go 10, down to eight, and then back up to 10. Then go back down to eight. So I'm just doing this little kind of seesaw here. I'm using my ring finger and my index. Then we're gonna do a quick grace note slide. We'll move to the third string and we're gonna play the ninth fret down to seven, so a whole step, and then down to five. All right, now there is a couple guitars that make this up. There's another one that's doing a low octave. And then there's the high octave. And then there's also like some power chords that are just doing a G to an A chord. So I kind of combine them a little bit. What I did was grab the third fret and then play the open. So that third fret is on the low sixth string and then play the open fifth string and then go to that just when I start. So it's gonna begin on a pickup on the and of four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Then I just play the A string on the downbeat, or the open fifth string. Here it's a C, you know, but don't worry about that. Just play the fifth string, and then up to, back up to the riff. So that's the lick, and it's a very common blues riff. You know, you would hear players like Muddy Waters go. So you have this blues influence all over this song. So that's gonna go four times at the top. So I'll put that all together slowly. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and repeat. Third time, fourth time. Then we go into the form of the song, and 
it has a long intro at the beginning of this. It basically plays through that riff and then does all the sections of the song, then comes back and does it again, and then the vocal comes in. So from here, I'm just gonna reference basically this is the verse section where the vocals are gonna come in, you know, after we play through the entire thing one time. So I'll break it down slowly. We're gonna go down to this rhythm pattern here on the A chord, you know, the open A here. <laughs> And we're going to play this for four bars. One, two, three, four. So I'm using just two chords here, an A, which would be the open fifth string, and then the second fret on the fourth string, and then a D, which would be the same thing, down one string, open D, and then second fret on the third string. I'm doing this very common rhythm and blues pattern where you just go and these are things I cover in detail in my essential blues guitar system but the idea is that you're just rocking back and forth between the root and the fifth of the chord and then the root and the sixth of the chord now we're gonna play one and two and three and four and typically we'll just touch down that ring finger there on beats two and four. So one and two and three and four. Then we're gonna jump up on the and of four to that D. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then again, so there on beat three in the second bar, I went back to A and then to D on the and of four. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Stay here back to A. Okay, that's the first four bars. Then we play this. All right, so that was two bars of the A chord, and then I anticipated the D. A lot of times you'll hear the guitar changing chords on the offbeat. So one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and. So there on the and of four, I went to the D chord. One and two and three and four and then back to A in the eighth bar. One and two and so here's all of that put together for the first section. I'm calling this the verse here. This comes in right after that opening riff. One, two, three, four. Stay there. Back to A. Great job, you've made it through that opening figure and the verse. Now, the next part here, the lyric cue is, but my love light seems, and this is gonna lead us into the chorus. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. So I also want to make a note that I am, when I'm playing that rhythm pattern, that blues rhythm pattern, I'm using palm muting. So I'm using kind of this part of my hand to come down on the strings and mute it a little bit. So here I'm playing two bars of A, one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and that same blues rhythm pattern. Then I'm going to go to a G chord. And for this G, I'm just, you can play any G that's comfortable for you. Here I'm playing the low third fret here on that low sixth string, muting the fifth string, then open, open, three, three. Then switch to D, open, two, three, two, from the fourth string down there. And those two chords are in the same bar. So one, two, and three, and four, and. So two beats on each chord. I'm just kind of opening up the strum there. Down, 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 down. One, two, and three. Then that goes again. So two bars of A, one and two and three and four and two and two, to G, D, and A. All right, from there we move into the chorus, and this is where they sing Big Old Jet Airliner. Here's what we're going to play here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Then we're back to that opening figure. So here I'm just using three chords, G, D, and then the A blues rhythm pattern. So I'm going G for two beats, one and two and, then D for two beats, three and four and, then go to the A blues rhythm pattern for a full bar, one and two and three and four and, then it repeats. I'm gonna do that three times. Then on the fourth time, we're gonna go G, D, and instead of going to A, we'll go back to the opening figure. Then we go back and play the verse. Everything goes again. So let's put it all together. We're gonna start with that opening riff, then we'll go into the verse, then we'll do that kind of little pre-chorus section, and then we'll play the chorus. At the end of the chorus, we'll go back to the riff four times. And when we finish, we'll go. We'll just end on the A. All right, we're gonna put it all together, get set, and I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. Next part, stay on A. Repeat that. To the chorus. Going back to the riff. So have fun putting those different sections together. Remember to take it slow and just rewind the video, go over any of those parts that are unclear, and then try and play it along with the recording. And to help you even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide. This is gonna help you connect the chords and the scales. So when you're playing a lick like this opening figure and you see those those single note lines and then knowing how to connect oh like that's the a minor pentatonic there against an a blues kind of rhythm pattern so you see how it comes together and you have a map and you can just really start progressing in your playing with this go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below completely for free as my gift to you so hope you enjoy that as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you in another video real soon.